One, two, three. Amen. And she said, this time, I'm not going to listen to the satanic philosophies of the enemy that's telling me I can't have what I asked God for. Amen. But what Hannah didn't understand, that God shut up her womb because that the prophets in the land had turned their backs on God and they weren't prophesying what the word of God told them to prophesy because they had gotten so familiar with the people and the whole land oh, yeah, was, sure was polluted and dirty with sin. So God blocked it and there was a certain amount years that there was not a prophet on the earth to speak the word of God. And so God said Hannah, you're going to be the one just like Jesus and Mary was the one. And so when Hannah went up this year, she couldn't understand it. But tell your neighbor, say God is going to explain everything to you. So she gets up there and she began to experience God. And when she began to experience God, tell your neighbor, say sometimes you just got to get on the threshing floor. And the threshing floor in the Old Testament was a threshing place that where they would separate the wheat from anything that could good in the grain. So sometimes in our life, there's going to have to be a weanering. He's going to have to cut some stuff. Come on, my nasty pride, my jealousies, my insecurities, my fears and my doubts, my rejections. But tell them that they God got to cut some stuff. I believe that when Hannah was on the threshing floor, she met Jesus. Jesus had an encounter with this woman of God. And as she was on the threshing floor in neology, God began to speak to her very existence. He began to tell Hannah everything about Hannah, everything that was holding up Hannah. He began to tell Hannah, Hannah, I have need of you. See, it's different when men have need of you. Understand what God was doing. That's right. 
See, be careful of the ones that don't know what to say after God has already done it. Well, I came in, I came in to and look at what God has done. Go ahead. That's right. Y'all Go ahead, man. Said. Go ahead. Be careful of the ones that when God bless you, and they come in and they can't celebrate. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. He couldn't say nothing but go in peace. <laughs> And she said, uh, he said, go in peace. Now watch this. First of all, Eli, at this time of my life, you ain't got no relationship with God. Uh -oh. Do you know I was in the devil of the lie? Uh -oh. So how can you pronounce a blessing over me? Uh -oh. See, what you got to understand, the blessing is going to manifest whether I get it from you or not. Woo!
There was something in her spirit, man, that said, I know God did it for me this season. And what she was crying out for a child, God was crying out for Israel, a priest, a priest, and a judge. That's why her womb was set up, because she was being used by God. You better tell your neighbor, I thank God for what he has not allowed me to walk in yet. God is going to use me to get the greater glory and watch this right here. conceived the son and named him Samuel. And Samuel means that God has heard. And not only that, but the Bible that please declare in the Moresh Bible that when you study it out of the Hebrew, the Bible says that every time Hannah conceived, and Hannah conceived six times, and the Bible begins to talk about that every time Hannah conceived, one of her greatest children would die. Until at the end, uh, but none of them have any more children left. Uh, she had one son left. Uh, and then watch this. Uh, Hannah went to Penina uh, and began to feel sorrowful for her. And Penina said, Woman of God, I see that God has blessed you. I see that God has opened up your womb. I see the very thing that you have asked God for. God has said it for you six times over. She said, I only have one son left. Can you make a decision between your God and the God of Israel? Because apparently he hears you when you begin to pray. She said, now can you go to God and tell God to spare my last son? But watch it. Come here, come, come, come. Come, 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 come. That's Kayla, right here. Stay right there. You are Penina and you are Hannah. Thank you. 
Uh, he puts my spirit man on a lurch. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, that I may be able to discern what God is saying for my body to this. My prayer tonight is, Lord, these were very intimate. But if I have an encounter like Hannah had, that Father God, you will visit them. A sweet visitation of the Holy Spirit that you will begin to speak to their heart and their mind. God, that even the more we will line up behind our men and women of God. Yes, Lord, yes, yes. And we will help be midwives and help push the baby. Because what you may have for them, oh God, God, you will indeed make happen for me. So God, we're going to wait. Yes, Lord, yes, yes. We're going to wait, oh God, for instruction. This time, God, I'm waiting for your instruction. And I will not move, oh God, prematurely for ahead of your time. I don't know what's in my time. But I will keep my eyes close to your breasts. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. I may hear, oh God, your very heart beat for my life. I won't stray, oh God, but I'll stay in position. God, I pray tonight, oh God, for these your sons, for these your daughters, that every dream, every vision, every goal, everything they can read down in their journals of God, that Father God, you will breathe life on it. Give it new life, oh God. That they will go and get the manifestation. That the manifestation that will be fulfilled, oh God, in this season. And God, give them a divine impartation of who you are. Yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 God, yes. God, take us deeper, oh God. You, deeper in the word. Deeper in prayer, oh God. Deeper in worship. That we may know you even the more. Have such an encounter, oh God. That when we yes, speak it, oh God, it will manifest. When we speak it, oh God, the angels get it, oh God, that they take and ascend back to heaven and ascend with an answer and bring it back to us on the earth, oh God. As we pray, oh Father God, and as we stand between heaven and hell, oh God, as your secret intercessor on the earth, oh God, that you will bring the manifestation of what we're pleading for. God, that's my prayer. To for life ministries, I pray, oh God, that you will open up the portals of heaven. That you will open up the portals of heaven. And that you will open it up so big, oh God. That you will pour out this ministry of blessing. That they will not even be able to contain it, oh God. Father, I pray yeah, that you also, yeah. God, that finances will come from the north, the south, the east, and the west, oh God. That their cup will run over in this season, oh God. That there will be no lack, there will be no wants in this ministry, oh God. I pray, oh Father God, that people will come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Yes, yes, yes. But I pray that yes. every curse that has been prayed on this ministry, every curse of witchcraft that has yes, been released yes, and prayed yes. on this ministry, that it be broken right now in the spiritual realm, oh God. And Father God, not only that, but as a chief apostle, oh God, with the apostolic anointing, oh Father God, I run every seat, I run every demon, every hex, every spirit, and we cast it back to the pits of hell. Right now in the Jesus. I pray sickness out of this building. I pray disease out of this building. God, I pray it out tonight. That this atmosphere be set and conducive and illuminated with your presence, oh God. That deliverance and healing will take place. That we will see the supernatural manifestations of God. Oh, Mother God, that signs, miracles, and wonders will follow the believer. Yes, and everything yes. that comes from every school, release permanently. And everything that evangelists from his school, release permanently, oh God. That it will not be held up in the third yes, realm. Yes, that Mother yes. God will be Yes, yes. 